Hello, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the checklist that you need when rounding on critically ill patients in the intensive care unit or ICU. So what's in that list? So generally you go system by system from head to toe, CNS, central nervous system, CVS, cardiovascular system, respiratory, RISP, respiratory system, GI, and GU. And of course, you will go over the medications in a daily basis. So let's start with the central nervous system. So generally, you check the, the level of consciousness of the patient, like, like Glasgow coma scale, uh, any presence of delirium the patient is having, the degree of sedation and the target sedation as well, in addition to pain control. Next is going to be the cardiovascular system, where you look at the monitor and check the blood pressure of the patient, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, mean arterial pressure, check the blood pressure target that you need to target for that patient, the heart rate, the heart rhythm, presence of arrhythmias, and the QTC interval for the drug interactions. In addition, you look at the Tmax in the last 24 hours, the fluid status of the patient, any IV fluids the patient is getting, and if there is a need for vasopressors or any uh, inotropes, inotropes, and the need for antihypertensive as well. After you finish the cardiovascular system rounding, you go into respiratory system by looking at the respiratory rate, arterial blood gases, any acid-base balance issues, respiratory secretions, and the mechanical ventilation parameters to see if the patient is being weaned, improving clinically, and so on. Next, the gastrointestinal system. Definitely, you'll need to check the feeding status of the patient. is being fed, tube feed tolerance, any nausea, vomiting, need for stress ulcer prophylaxis, you assess the presence of constipation, diarrhea, also assess the need for bowel routine and liver function tests. Followed by genitourinary system, or GU, you check the kidney function, the urine output, fluid balance, and you assess the renal function on a daily basis. Then you look at the microbiology, infectious diseases, any risk of infection, any presence of infections, any cultures available, sensitivities, and the need for cultures as well. Check the labs, investigations, any relevant labs regularly in a daily basis or less or more often. Check the trend of the lab values and other diagnostic imagings and other investigations. And then the medications, check patient-specific medications, hospital-specific medications, disease-specific meds, any need for dose adjustment based on the liver or kidney function, therapeutic drug monitoring, drug interactions, and intravenous compatibility. For more information on those meds, I suggest you, we, you watch the DHP video in the channel. And that's it. For further readings, I suggest to look at the critical care assessment chapter in the patient assessment in clinical pharmacy textbook. Thank you. That marks the end of the clinical pharmacy practice education video. And please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.